doing chapter 24, number 23. Um, it asks, the problem is, an industrial laser is used to burn a hole through a piece of metal. The average intensity of the light is 1.23 times 10 to the 9th watts per meter squared. What is the RMS value of A, the electric field, and B, the magnetic field, in the electromagnetic wave emitted by the laser? So, um, for intensity, uh, so for the intensity of an electromagnetic wave, it's the power that the wave carries perpendicularly through a surface divided by the area of the surface. Um, and the intensity is related to the total energy density, U, by the formula S, being intensity equals C, U, and C is speed of light. Um, which is 3 times 10 to the 8. And then U is just the energy density. And this particular problem is asking us to find both E, the electric, the electric field, and B, the magnetic field. Um, and <coughs> so, Conveniently enough, the energy density is related to the electric field by, yeah, so energy density is proportional to the um, electric field and the constant is this thing. So Epsilon, not the electric permittivity of free space. Electric permittivity is free space, yeah. So. Energy density is proportional to electric field, and it's the constant really that relates them is the permittivity of free space, um, and that is that is in here somewhere. So is it the electric field, or is it uh, what else does it have? It's just it's mm -hmm. not it's not e squared. It is e squared. Okay. It got um, so that's, that's how you find the electric field, and it's also asking for the magnetic field. And there's two ways to do that, there's, um, well, let's find the electric field first. So, okay. you can just take this, and basically put it into here. So that will give you like S equals C times the permittivity of free space times the electric field squared. And we have all of these quantities except for this, so you can rearrange it as the electric field equals the square root of the intensity S over the speed of light times <coughs> the permittivity of free space. Mm -hmm. And then you do your calculator math. Um, yeah, you put the numbers in. Um, that'll be, and the intensity is given as 1.71. Uh, 1.71 times 10 to the 9 and the speed of light we know is 3 times 10 to the 8 and then the permittivity of free space is 4 pi no that's the other one it was 8 8.85 8 times 10 to the negative 11 10 to the negative 12 And then, yeah, calculator it should come out to, um, I don't have the number. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, it let's, come out to your e. okay, so 1.7 e to the 9 divided by 3, 8 equals divided by 8. 0.85 e to the negative 12. 
Yeah. Equals. I think it's the square root of all of that. I got 8.02 times 10 to the 5. Yeah. Okay. And the unit for electric field force is um, newtons per coulomb. Mm -hmm. Great. Now yeah. we have the electric field, and then we're also looking for the um, magnetic field. And there is, and these two are related by um, electric field equals speed of light times magnetic field. Mm -hmm. So we have the electric field now, so we can just go ahead and say that the magnetic field is equal to the electric field divided by the speed of light, which is 8.02 times 10 to the 5 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8, which I do have this number. Should equal to right here, magnetic field equals 0 0.00268 Tesla yeah this is number 23 in chapter 24 And that's the entire problem, right? Yeah, that's the entire problem.